Hello heroes and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, sunny and rather sentimental today, I think. The moon moves into Libra. Now that's your opposite sign. Most of the time when I go through this transit, I find I'm a lot more lazy. I have less energy, frankly. I don't want to get off the couch. But emotionally or spiritually, your heart is really more available for your loved ones right now, or the ones that you are committed to for a long term, thus the long term relationship. So emotionally, you're going to be in that spectrum for the next 36 hours. In fact, that's what this whole month is about. And tomorrow, it's Lightcast Day, the new moon, in which the sun and moon will conjunct. And that's kind of a big booster shot of gravity toward one direction in our life. For you, Aries, this month, because it's your opposite sign, it'll be a booster shot in the direction of the right relationships in your life. So it's kind of time to kind of get those in harmony. Now, the universe isn't saying they're scattered or out of harmony, per se, but Mercury, which is in the house of intimacy right now, is about to go retrograde on Thursday, which means you'll be rethinking or kind of thinking through relationships and intimacy again. This is a second time. So the universe is giving us a do-over in this area. You probably want to take some highlight to it. Now, one thing also important to note, Saturn and Venus conjuncting right now in the house of daily reality. That's a good conjunction. We saw it before in Leo. This is the first time we're seeing it in Virgo. So the universe is going to be offering up a whole nother, a whole batch, I should say, of opportunities of alternate daily lifestyles, which may include relationships or the way we relate to people. So that's something to keep in mind. And that's really where you're doing a lot of the refining right now in your life with Saturn or taking responsibility is getting as much as you can out of your moment to moment life. And if you want a real example of who's done this very well recently, it was Pisces, okay, just before you. Lastly, I want to point out that Mercury, like I said, will be going retrograde and that tomorrow is Lycas. So between now and tomorrow, with being in Chapter 2 of Sun and Libra, what you want to just focus on before the Lycas is the relationships, what you expect from relationships, how to approach maybe difficult ones, and if you're single or don't have alliances in business, how to draw on the relationships you want. That's going to be the real strength of your Lycast in 24. All right, Aries, that's all we have for Tuesday. See you tomorrow. Live, love, be. So